Hi, I'm Corinne with Thompson RV in Pendleton, Oregon. Today I'm standing in a brand new 2022 Timber Ridge 24 RKS built by Outdoors RV in La Grande, Oregon. So this is going to be a rear kitchen model that they've had around for a long time because it's always been one of their best sellers. So the rear kitchen, this 24 in particular, is 28 foot 8 tip to tip. So a lot of people choose this floor plan because it stays under the 30 foot mark but also still allows them three sleeping areas. So you get the mountain dinette, you can option in a sleeper sofa here, and then also the front queen walk around bed. So a lot of models, when you start getting under that 30 foot mark, you might end up with a set of chairs and a dinette or just a dinette. And so there's just not enough sleeping area for a young family or people who wanna take their in-laws or whatever. So this model, because of the storage and also the sleeping, makes it one of our most popular models. So it's a double entry model. This one, you're gonna walk in the rear door, your refrigerator right here, so your eight cubic foot nor cold refrigerator, a big pot and pan drawer right under the refrigerator. This is a titanium series. Outdoors RV gives you the option when you pick a floor plan of a mountain series or a titanium series. If you're not familiar with all of the differences, I'm not gonna go into those. This is more about the floor plan, um, but we do have videos that showcase everything you get on a titanium over a mountain series. So be sure to check out that video. But because it's a titanium, you're gonna get the stainless steel stove, the stainless steel microwave, and then also the push button electronic ignition for the oven. All of the Outdoors RVs come with the glass top on the stove for extra counter space. So when you're not cooking on this stove, you can have this glass top down and you can prepare a sandwich or anything you want right here on this glass top. You get the knife rack and the really nice backsplash. I often get asked why there's not a backsplash here. Um, we do sell like a thin plexiglass that you could easily put here if you were concerned about this wall paneling. Solid surface countertops high arc faucet these all come with the farm style sink with the rack in the bottom so that you protect the stainless steel sink lots of overhead cabinets on this model and because it's a titanium these are all solid hardwood doors you notice by the way they open and close that they're really high quality a good bank of drawers a little bit of under cabinet storage but you've also got access to your water pump and also your water heater. Another little cabinet here. When we come around here, you've got Outdoors RV's mountain dinette. I get asked all the time, is the table really as sturdy as it looks in the video? And yes, trust me, it is sturdy. So you have to work hard to, uh, to spill a cup of coffee with this bad boy. Titanium, so it has the slow rise blackout shades. It also has the solid wood around the windows, around the slide out. Two big drawers down here, and these all have locks on them now. So when, they're, when you're going down the road, you just lock these drawers, and then they won't come flying open if you have something heavy in there. Over here, this model does come standard with the sleeper sofa. We can option in the two swivel rocker recliners or the theater seating. The theater seating, I would say, is our most popular option. Um, what you'll notice too is there's storage above the sofa area. This model, because it's one of our more popular models, it's because of the storage. So when people pick this floor plan, almost always they tell me it's because of the storage. So you get this bank of cabinets above the sofa, but then you also get this extra little pantry here, which you could use for food and kitchen things, or you could also fold clothes in here. Three big drawers. And then a huge wardrobe closet. So I will tell you that every person who orders this model, they tell me this is the reason that they ordered it. Tons and tons of storage. Over here, you've got the flat screen 12 volt TV. So this is a battery operated uh, TV. So it's not 110, you don't have to be plugged in at a park. The batteries on the front of the coach will power this. Overhead cabinets, again, more up here and then more down here. This area right here is too shallow. So the fireplace is not an option on this model or on the 24 RLS. You get a CD, DVD, uh, Bluetooth stereo. 
So this, you can Bluetooth your phone to it and sit out under the awning, listen to the outside speakers while it's playing off of here. Um, and you can also, it links to the TV and will play on the speakers in the ceiling. Now, as we go into the bathroom, what you'll notice is this is what we would call a split bath. So it has the sink for the bath right here. Now, I will tell you, some people go, oh gosh, I don't want the sink in, at the foot of my bed. I've had the same model. I really liked it because somebody could be using the bathroom, showering, whatever, and the other person could still be out here brushing teeth, you know, doing your hair, whatever. So having it split up like that is just really a matter of personal preference. You get the solid hardwood medicine cabinet, more storage underneath the sink. Again, it's a titanium, so solid surface bathroom sink with the underslung stainless. In the bathroom here, you've got a porcelain toilet, a heat duct, toilet paper holder, a tub with a glass shower door, towel hooks, a skylight over the shower, an air conditioning vent, and then also we option in the Max Air Deluxe vents on all of our models. The bedroom boasts a true 60 by 80 queen size mattress and also has plenty of room to walk without having to scooch by the bed. At the foot of the bed, again, titanium series, so it's got the bedroom TV. Escape window with the wood around it. You do get the solid surface countertops in the bedroom because it's titanium, along with under cabinet lighting and then also reading lights on each side of the bed, upgraded mattress, and the front windshield. Overhead cabinetry, so you've got shirt wards on each side of the bed and then folding space up above. This particular model is ordered with the solar panels on the roof, so that's where the charge controller goes. And then we option in the Max Air Deluxe vent fans, just like in the bathroom. There's one in the kitchen and then one over the bed. So that's actually a 10 speed thermostatically controlled vent that pushes a lot of air. So a lot of people, you know, if you're camping and you're off grid and you don't want to run a generator to run your air conditioning, this fan is actually going to push a lot of air. What I do is I turn one to exhaust and one to intake and you'll get a great cross breeze throughout the trailer. Again, this has a double entry door. So there is an entry door right here in the bedroom as well. And because it's a titanium, it has a pull down shade to block the sun coming through the door window. So let's take a peek at what this will look like with the slide out in, and then we'll take a quick walk around on the outside. And then at the very end, I'll show you the key winterization points like the pump water heater and the low point drains. So now that we have the slide out pulled in, you can see that there's full access to every part of the trailer with the exception of the TV and the TV cabinet. That's the only thing you can't access with the slide out in. On the exterior of this trailer, because it is a titanium, you're gonna get the high gloss fiberglass exterior as well as the frameless windows. That frameless window also is included in both entry doors. So this is your main entry door that goes right into the kitchen. You get the grab bar handle, triple aluminum step, auto leveling on all the titaniums you're going to get auto leveling so mountain series you can get power stabilizer jacks those are still just stabilizers this is push button auto leveling the trailer levels itself that's awesome and it, we do almost all titaniums and that's one of the reasons why electric awning that goes almost the full length of the trailer when you're out there shopping for a trailer you definitely need to look at what size awning they're using. Outdoors RV tries to use the longest awning they possibly can, and they all come with a center support for that exact reason. So many times you'll see this gigantic trailer with this tiny little awning that'll only cover one door. They, on every model, even the models that are even longer than this, they use a huge awning. <clears throat> Another thing that Outdoors RV does that's a lot different than other companies is the quality of their chassis. They're all built over in LeGrand, so they're not bought from some uh, company that supplies all of the big uh, brand chain, chain brands. These are custom built chassis, heavy duty axles. They do what they call the off-road X4 suspension package. So the Moorride CRE 3000, heavy duty shackles, bronze bushings, and then also the KYB off-road shocks. 
Now, sometimes people go, well, I'm not even going to be off-roading with this trailer. Well, you wouldn't buy a car without suspension, right? So you definitely want a trailer that has suspension. Th that's another feature about having a rear kitchen. I've heard people over the years say, oh, you don't want a rear kitchen. They don't tow as nice. That's not true. Not when you have a custom built chassis that's built specifically for this model. And then also on top of that, good quality suspension and also good quality tires. Goodyear, uh, load range E, and we option in the 16 inch on all of our timber ridges. They've just started recently doing this fire pit barbecue hookup and they give you a little door right here to easily access it. So that's a quick disconnect for LP. You've got 110 plugins out here under the awning. Um, so if you are hooked up to 110 power, then you can power a speaker or an outside TV or whatever you want out here under the awning. Here at your bedroom door, as you can see, this is what I was talking about earlier. You get the elongated frameless door window. And then on the inside, you do have a shade, which is also a really nice feature if you want to black out the bedroom. Another triple aluminum step. Outdoors RVs all come with what we call slam latch luggage doors. They all come with the magnetic catches and they're all one inch thick for extra insulation. Not to mention they insulate all the way up and under this compartment because that's what goes up to your bed. Rubberized diamond plate here in the storage compartment. You've also got your Lippert uh, one touch auto leveling controls. There's also controls when you go in the entry door back in the rear kitchen area where all the rest of the controls are, or you can do it from right up here. You also have a battery kill switch so you can disconnect and cut off all power to the trailer to save your batteries if you don't have, say, a solar panel or can't keep the trailer plugged in or something like that. Right here, so even though you've got the option of doing up to three 170 watt ZAMP solar panels on the roof, you also have the option of an additional 200 watts right here at the side of the trailer. And this is a different system. So it does not go through the charge controller that's mounted over the bed. The portable panels have a built-in charge controller just specifically for that panel. This one has the full fiberglass wraparound front cap. This particular model was optioned with the four battery tray and then the four battery box. The toy lock is a lock that comes in conjunction with the rear receiver hitch. That's called the mountain storage package front power tongue jack, and then this handy little caddy where you can store your safety change, your seven-way uh, plug, and your breakaway cable when they're not in use. Here we have more access to that pass-through uh, storage compartment. You've got your black and your gray dump valves. So those also have these little kayak hatches to make them easier to get to. Because Outdoors RV fully encloses and heats all of their underbelly, all of those valves have to also be up and enclosed, which puts them, you know, if you didn't have this hatch here, it's kind of hard to get down and around. So they've made it easier so you can just reach in here to pull your uh, valve. And they even give you a light in case you need to do that in the dark. This is your black tank flush, so you can rinse out your black tank. The titanium, they all come with the slide out toppers. I would highly recommend that even if you have a backcountry or a mountain series, on order um, that's coming in, you can option that in once it arrives here at the dealership. It's not an option from the factory, but I would highly recommend it. So it rolls out with the slide out, keeps water, debris, everything off the top of your slide. When you roll it back in, everything just rolls off the top. So it's all fully automatic and just travels with the slide out. It's a must. Back here, you've got your valve handle to dump your uh, 80 gallon fresh water tank. Right here is going to be an additional gray water tank. Because it's a rear kitchen, you actually end up with two 40 gallon gray water tanks. So a total of 80, which is awesome. This is where you would fill your 80 gallon fresh water tank. If you are in a park and you don't need to fill up your tank and you wanna run directly off of city water, this is where you would hook that up. Outside shower with an insulated door. A 10 gallon water heater, and it runs off of gas or electric. 
four inch steel bumper. You can store your sewer hose in this. So a lot of people do that. Right here on this model is where you would hook up your 30 amp power cord, your cable and your satellite. This is the rear receiver hitch that I was talking about. It's in conjunction with that toy lock. So that's called the mountain storage system. You get a nice heavy duty ladder. On the titanium, you get a rear observation camera as well as backup lights. This would be access to your furnace and then also access to your refrigerator. And then of course a spare tire with a lovely Thompson RV logo on the back. So thank you for watching our video. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to myself or any of the guys here at Thompson RV. Anybody here can help you answer your questions. All of us here own outdoors RVs. In fact, most of us have owned multiple floor plans. So if you have questions on, hey, can you tell me why you like the KRS versus the RKS or the 24 RLS versus the 24 RKS? Just let us know because we have used most models and can give you our pros and cons of each floor plan. Thank you. Outdoors RV makes it very easy to winterize your travel trailer. They give you access panels to anything that you're gonna need during the winterization process. So whether you blow it out with air or use antifreeze, you're gonna to wanna to access your pump to pump a little bit of antifreeze into the pump head. So that, that is right here, this access panel. Um, and it comes off, you have a valve with a suction line that comes directly off the pump. You also need to winter, uh, bypass your water heater and that is right through this panel. And the low point drains are located right under the bathroom sink on the floor.